Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is the PwC vs. German Titans 2.0 recap. I'm still sick, so if I cough or do anything that sick people do, I apologize. Because it's pretty annoying when I cough, I'm sure. Um, so yeah, this is a potluck spin. This is I am going to upload this way later than the war happened. Um, and that's just because I've been sick and haven't been wanting to do, haven't been wanting to do anything. And, um, <coughs> I'm sorry for that. Um, so yeah, I'm feeling a little better now. Um, this war, super crazy. Super, super crazy. Um, and this is why. So, we finished all of our attacks. Like, um, we did all, except one, which was J-Man. Or not J-Man. Oh yeah, J-Man. Um, we did all of our attacks except him at the one hour 48 minute mark so up until that point they had like probably 20 ish or 15 attacks um to do in that time span and it was just their board to win or lose and obviously they lost it which you saw at the beginning <coughs> um so yeah uh cyber jesus and ruxin those are the first two people hit and those were like the main bases that they focused on early on um Ruxum defended seven times, and Cyber Jesus defended four times. Ruxum's base was like the MVP because it defended so much. Um, and uh, you can see right here. So <coughs> I don't remember how many tele 10 or 11 attacks they had at this point, but they had quite a few, probably like eight, seven to nine around there. Um, so yeah, they attacked Ruxum, Cyber Jesus, both failed. Um, they dipped, I think they had four dips at this point, maybe five, so they got Cheroy, and then we were expecting, we were expecting the Tal Elements to go perfect, maybe one dip fail, um, and it, we needed, we needed, um, them to fail, to only get two Tummy 10 triples and not three, if they got three, they would have won, um, and right here, you can see they tripled Cyber Jesus, and we were a little paranoid. And then we move up, dipped magic, as expected. And then um, another attempt on Ruxum, fail. And then so Rocco, uh, this is my account, I built the base <coughs> on Rocco. And um, I think they were stumped on my base, they didn't really know how to attack it. So because at the beginning of the war, like early on, like the first 12 hours, they scouted my base. And they never attacked it. And this is the second time I got attacked, and it was another scout. So they scouted again. And I guess this one didn't really work out like they intended. So they scouted again. Different type of scout. Didn't work out like they intended. Apologize for this pop-up. Um, <coughs> and then right here, they three-star marks them, so we're a little paranoid because they got two three-stars. They're most likely going to clear our tens with uh, or dip successfully um, for the rest of the time on our tens. And my base needed to defend, and there were three Talentine hits left on my base. And I'm an 86k8 base, so I'm lighter than usual. Or not lighter than usual, I'm just a very lightweight base, so it's usually easier to three star my bases. Or just three star me in general, because I'm so light. <coughs> um, so Luca was the first person to go for me. And this was a Shattered Boulder Laloon entry, failed bad um Lara Soul, I think she oh yeah she did um uh, she did like a really weird attack or he I don't know I don't know why I said she um she did like a I did it again he did like a or he or she did a queen walk and they sent three pekkas and bowlers up the base just spam didn't work um Alvin and this is the last minute war so um <coughs> they were all going at the same time and we were just waiting like uh, like waiting for uh, the results to show up and seeing who won because if they got me they would have won and um, dipped successfully on Alvin, Dix dipped successfully on Blast, I just said a naughty word and then they went for me and this was just a bowler witch attack <coughs> um, and that failed so since I built the space I was extremely nervous, stressed out and uh, I thought I was gonna fail us the war, basically. Like, I wasn't gonna be able to defend, and it was gonna be my fault uh, when we lost. 
but I defended, and I was extremely happy about that. Um, so yeah, that was an awesome ending. <coughs> One of my favorite wars I've been in in a while. So um, yeah, let's get right into the attacks now. We got a 11, 11 v 11 3 star, and <coughs> um, I don't know why we went for the 11 v 11 on this base. I think this base is a harder base to 2 star, so we didn't want to just throw 5 hits at it, for 5 talent 10 hits, and um, see, and just waste them. So um, Matt, aka Q, um, he did this attack. I think we did a scout on it first, and then went for 11, 11 v 11 3 star, failed that, and went for another 11 v 11. Um, so yeah, it took three hits or two hits. Um, he did he dropped the queen to the side to make a funnel and get some defenses, and he sent the wall breakers. I don't know if the wall breakers were necessary at all, but <coughs> they uh, it allowed some boards to get inside and put some damage on the wizard tower in front of tower. And right here, he's gonna start the law loon. It's just basically spam law loon. He's just targeting. It's like you know when you see the the wall of lo wall of loons that people do. I look just spammy. It's basically this, but more precise. <coughs> he just targeted them specifically. Defenses with a certain amount of loons. Um, haste and rage pushing them into the core and outside of the base. And the heal in the core. Only four balloons are going to get hit by that, and they're going to get targeted by an inferno. Um, there's only a few defense or a few balloons <coughs> that um, are going for the eagle. Uh, and the eagle right here is a huge problem. Like um, you'll see right here, all these balloons are about to be clumped up. But if you look at the range, they're all about to move outside of the range, or I guess inside of the range, if that makes sense. Of the, or I know it's outside of the range of the eagle. And the eagle just goes down. If the eagle didn't go down, it would have been a fail, most likely. Because they would have targeted all the pups and stuff around the base. So yeah, the wizard tower's still up. It's on low health. So the eagle, or not the eagle, the wizard, or no, the grand warden will be able to take it out, most likely. Um, but actually, the pups take out the wizard tower, which is really surprising, in my opinion. Because they usually get... They just get wrecked by the splash damage. <coughs> so yeah, Q barely squeaking out that three star, but ten or eleven v eleven is always impressive. So we have Alvin attacking this base. I think it was uh, fresh or no, like scouted then fresh. It's because we I think we made this base. I'm not sure. I know I've seen this base in PWC before, but um, <coughs> um I think we like we've FC'd and. We know how to three-star this base. Oh my god, this pop-up is really annoying. Um, so yeah, we 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 know how to three-star this base because we made it or something. We've ran it before and FC did. So he's gonna do a one healer queen charge, which is awesome. And um, uh, you're gonna see her here. He wants the queen to go for this inferno tower. That's why he breaks her in, but she doesn't go in. <coughs> and she gets a Tesla farm, which it's really valuable, but um, I think he wanted the Inferno more, but it works out just fine. He cased a few balloons into that Inferno and takes it out. And then the second Inferno and Queen are right here, so he's probably going to drop her Rage and Skeleton Spells right about now. Yeah, he misplaced one of the skeleton spells, but it's alright, because there's so many pups and skeletons, and not many things that could target the skeletons. So, all the balloons are converging at the end, and he drops a heal spell right over there, which is an awesome heal spell, because it's going to cover up. It was a wizard tower and expo, three arch towers and air defense, so they're going to be healed up for the end, and right here the pups are going to take out the air defense, actually. <coughs> Um, and yeah, a few loons left over. It was pretty close, but impressive nonetheless. The recording stopped right there, so um, I apologize for that. If you haven't, like, if you actually watch my videos regularly, you'll probably notice that that happens a lot. 
and that's because I have the trial version of this uh, this thing, and it only lets you record for 10 minutes, then stops, and you have to restart. And it's not a trial, it's just a free version, and I don't want to pay money for something that's just like this. It's a hobby, and I don't want to waste that money. Um, that base, which, what base was it? Number 10. We attacked this base so many times. Um, seven times, and it was the same attack over and over and over, but tiny things went wrong over and over and over. So, <coughs> pretty annoying. Um, and then we have Ruxim. <coughs> I apologize for the coughing. Uh, we have Ruxim taking out this base. We attacked this base several times. I think five times. And this Bowler Bounce, awesome value. He's going to take out this Wizard Tower with it. And then um, he's going to be making a funnel with this Wizard. So the Queen, she's going to go this way to, the, to her left or right. This baby dragon is going to go down, and it's going to tank for the wall breaker because I make a funnel. Um, this queen, I forgot how many healers there are. I think there are four, or three. I'm not sure. But it's a little queen charge. And then right here, she's going to take out the air defense queen and archer tower. And the way she pathed, we knew she was going to path that way because we did this attack several times. Um, and the king... Is going to go in and take out that Inferno Tower and Sweeper right here in this minion. Really clutch minion. He's going to take out this cannon all by himself. Because nothing is in range, as you can see. <coughs> and if you didn't know, if you see the shadow under the minion... Um, oh, never mind. I was wrong. I guess he drops another minion on the cannon. But the shadow is like where the troop is standing, air troops are. And it was outside of the ring um, of the air defense, of the range of the air defense. So I don't get why... It got targeted, but whatever. Um, balloons are going to go down around the base. Haste spell right into that Inferno Tower. And he's going to haste these balloons into uh, the Tesla farm with the haste spell. I just said haste twice. Um, so that's a... Uh, all of them die, but it was still a good value. And he needed that. Um, there's a minion that takes out the Arch Tower. And then he has another haste. And all the balloons get to really low health right here, so it's really close, but he's fine, and he's able to swag. <coughs> swag a hate spell. Um, the first attack, or no, like, I think this was tried two or three times, and the first time it was done, it was by Coin Coin or, Joy, or Jim Swag, and he uh, had a rage spell instead of the hate spells. Um, I don't know what... I feel like the rage spell, because he was able to swag haste anyways, and he used to haste, so I, I, I feel like the rage would have been better, um, but I don't know, I'm just rambling, it doesn't really make sense what I'm saying, because I can't really articulate myself most of the time. Um, so a whole bunch of pups and minions and balloons take out the rest of the base for cleanup, and then we have, I think, two more. Three stars. Um, magic. <coughs> Taking on Bad Uncle. And right here he's going to drop a baby dragon to tank for these two balloons. And they're going to take out this archer tower. And it's for pathing purposes. Um, right here he's going to drop his king. And his king is going to tank for that Tesla. And he's going to walk and make a funnel for the queen, and just pick up a few defenses and get some trash. <clears throat> queen is going to walk inside the base and take out that inferno and air defense, and uh, the attack before this, it was by, I forgot who, but um, what he did was, uh, he ex I think he expected his queen to just be able to walk into the base and take out the queen from here, but the range is it's really close at the edge and I'm like she did target the queen the first time but she just died and now this time magic is cleaning it up with the uh, two skelly spells but the problem is I don't think he expected to need to use a rage spell right here so um he that's why it was so sloppy and um the queen luckily very close dropped uh or broke through the wall and she didn't even take out the queen. It was the few archers that took her out. So it was a very close call. But um, it worked out. 
and he's starting to loon at this point. <coughs> so you have a lot of balloons, and um, they're going to path over into this inferno compartment area. Drops the freeze, a rage spell. <coughs> I don't think the rage spell was needed there, but he is too haste. Because he had so many balloons right there. And he drops the heal spell right over this um, spot with Archer Towers and Expos. I don't think it should have been used there. I think it could have used it more to the side down here. Um, minions are starting to clean up now. And then the balloons are all going to converge on this one Archer Tower. He drops his Archer, but it pulls the CC, the enemy CC this way to them. So it wasn't really that great of a move because now they may be or they may get in the way of the pups and the hound may explode and cause some problems but he has so much cleanup that it's not a problem and even then they are all targeting on the two remaining cleanup or two remaining buildings before it's even a problem so yeah good job to magic and we have coin coin taking out the bottom base um yeah i attack this base first and I did an embarrassing all in. I just, I don't know what happened. I made, I did this opener. It was a really good opener. High value. I did, like, he's going to drop his queen, take out the king, and take out the air defense. Um, and then, you'll see right here, the king is going to take out this enemy queen, this archer tower. And there's a Tesla right here. <coughs> but when I did the Lalu part, I messed up my blue drops, and they didn't path correctly. And, um... They didn't get the Inferno Tower, and I just messed up a lot of other stuff. So, yeah, it was an extremely embarrassing attack, and I wanted to kill myself after. Um, yeah, you'll see. Chim, or Coin Coin, destroy this base. Uh, drops Hounds and Loons right here, and so he drops two right here, and then drops four Loons right here. So what's going to happen is, all these Bloons are going to path over to the Inferno Tower now. And that's what I failed to do. I, um... Drop my balloons around. Um, heal spell and rage spell going down. And he had two heal spells, and that's because there are just so much DPS right here in the core. And the air defenses are outside of the. are like on the outside ring, sort of. Oh my god, this pop up is so annoying, I'm sorry. <coughs> so, all the balloons are going to path over into the Inferno Tower. Over the Inferno Tower. Take out this. The last remaining defenses, and he's going to have two minions. Uh, they're going to be used for cleanup. Well, he had a bunch of minions at first, and they all, they're all dropped at the top. Then he's going to drop those two minions on the skeleton spells right there. It wasn't really necessary, but it works out fine. I said skeleton spells, I meant to say skeleton. I don't know, flying skeletons. Skeleton traps, that's what I meant. They look like pirates to me, I don't know why. Well, I say that. <coughs> so, coin coin. Good job on the three star for Jim Schwag. Um, good work on German Titans. Um, and actually, I don't know if I should say this or not, but. Oh, Mimu's crashing. I hate when this happens. Um, good thing it happened just now. But, <sighs> German Titans, uh, some big things are going to happen with them soon. And you'll see what happens. Um, I I feel like I'm teasing you guys, and I apologize for that. But yeah, nobody's probably even gonna listen at this part because nobody watches to the end of my videos. I think. Um, see, so yeah, German Times is gonna get some big stuff, big news tomorrow about them. Um, I'm gonna call the recap off right now. So goodbye. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and yeah. Look out for German Titan stuff tomorrow.